Hi guys, I want to show you a quick uh, tutorial for a combo line with Junk Synchron and Junk Converter in this build that uh, uses a Riving Light to get to shooting Majestic Star Dragon. So I've been playing a lot with a build really similar to Leo's build, pure build, from 037 Wolf, uh, YouTube's channel. And uh, since he's been playing with the adventure package and I don't have it, I've been just having fun with this one. This build is less consistent, but it still has some really cool lines that I wish to show you. And I love this card. So if you want to play with this, I've been having so much fun with it. So let's start. Uh, you just need these two cards in hand and a disc card. This can be anything, so it doesn't matter. So with this one, we'll get to Junk Speeder. And then John Speeder will be Chain Lantern 2. Uh, we'll do the effect of Start a Synchron and we'll add Arriving Light. And then now we can activate Arriving Light. This will bring um, this Majestic Dragon to the top of the deck. And now we can do Synchro 8 Crystal Wing. And we'll uh, trigger this effect we'll, to draw a card. We'll draw, reveal, and then we'll special summon it with a. Uh, Brotor and Brotor, here's where we need the discard. Brotor will target Jet Synchron so we can discard this card and we'll add Double Warrior. So now we have Double Warrior in hand and now we'll do 5 Synchro 5 to TG. We can tribute Junk Synchron for Stardust Synchron and we can trigger now Double Warrior's effect to special summon it. Now we have enough to do our shooting Majestic Star Dragon. And we'll summon it. And now we'll do chain one, chain two. To summon tokens, we'll have here, here. We'll draw a card. I will not show the cards that I'll be drawing because I just want to show you how far can you go with just those two cards and a half. So this can help us extend, but this is the, the basic combo. Now we can synchro 5. Starters will get banished. And we'll synchro to Axel Synchron. We'll do chain 1 to draw. I want to uh, send Jet Synchron to the grave. So we can reduce this first because we don't want to draw that one from the deck. Uh, so we'll first send and reduce level by 1. So now we'll synchro 2. Um, and then we'll do chain 1, chain 2. Uh, you can search with Jet by now since we already use John Converter and it's in the graveyard. We don't need to and if we want to continue playing uh, or we need to, uh, we can still use uh, Jet Synchron's effect in the graveyard. But by now I don't need it so I will just be summoning Double and John Converter and I'll draw a card. Now since this is a level 4, I can synchro 8 Omega. So now I'll do chain 1, chain 2, to summon again 2 tokens. And we'll draw a card. Now you can activate this just to create a space. We don't need it now. You can keep it here until we need some space. I love to do it first. So I'll do the effect of Omega. We'll rip a card from our opponent's hand. And now we'll do Synchro 3 to Marshall. So we'll do Chain 1, Chain 2. This is where uh, the line varies. So you can either uh, revive Axel Synchron or Junk Synchron. Either way of these two lines and on different boards, uh, depending on what you want and what you like to do. So we'll first do the Axel Synchro line. So we'll revive this and we'll draw a card. So now here we have either uh, we'll send Stardust Synchron to Grave and then this become a level nine and here we have Baron. We'll do Synchro 10 and we'll draw a card. So here we'll do just a Synchro 8 and then chain one and we'll revive Shannon. So this will be the end board, uh, reviving Axel Synchron. 
but let's try again with the other other way around so we are here we drew four cards and we'll do chain one chain two and this time we can uh target junk synchron engrave to revive so we'll do one and draw and now what we can do is here we'll do uh herald and we'll draw another card and here we'll do sarcast effect and revive shaman so both ways uh and on two more cards uh herald or baron and here we'll have um axel start as axel synchron so the last line that you can get is either having just herald and baron i really love this play with axel synchro starters dragon and i love having the interaction for next turn so i always go to either herald and this or baron and this but if you want to have uh three negates um because you already had a hand rip with omega you can still go this route that would be another draw herald here we go herald uh draw and here we're on so you'll still have six new draws three negates one hand rip omega still coming on the next turn and hopefully this uh, unless they kaiju but yeah, so you have follow-up. So here I want to show you if we're in this board. Uh, we got this far. We drew five cards. Uh, we are not even counting the ones that in our starting hand. We just did this with a two and a half cut combo, uh, converter and junk. And I'm going to show you what happens if we draw this one. This can help us get on any board we, we want. Because in this scenario, we can do Illumination, since we have a uh, shooting majestic, uh, we can special summon Stardust Trio to our field, and now we have a lot of uh, different routes. So we'll go for Herald here, and now we can use Stardust Illumination to level Mortar Liz so we can get to Stardust uh, Axel Syndrome or Baron, because we can up one by one level. So we have Baron here, or decrease one level, so we can have Stardust Synchron. I like to go for uh, the Stardust Synchron route, cause if I banish this, uh, decrease by one, we'll have Stardust Synchron. Chain one, chain two. We'll do Shaman, and we'll draw another card. And now, since we have TG here, on the next turn, we can draw even more cards. We have Arriving Light also. So we can do Effective Stardust Synchron, Stardust Dragon, and then sync to uh, Baron or Satellite Warrior, uh, whichever you need. So you can still go to Baron. And now, since we Synchro Summon two times, we can do Chain 1, Chain 2, Chain, chain 3, and we'll do 1, 2, 3. We'll draw three more cards on the opponent's turn. So that's the whole combo. I love this this build. I have a lot of fun summoning this one. Yeah, we'll draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards on the opponent's turn. So that's it.